What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ. Now a couple of days back I put out a video asking you guys if you wanted me to do a Q&A. Uh, if so, leave a comment down below with your question. I got a shit ton of questions so I've decided to do a Q&A. If you guys want to see a weekly thing of me answering your guys questions, any question you want, leave a question down below in that comment section. I will do my best to answer it. But let's just get straight into the video. And we're going to start with the... Well, I wouldn't say stupid. Some of them are actual serious questions. Some of them are stupid. You ever got laid? Do you have a girlfriend? Are you married? Do you have any children? Do you have a girlfriend? Blah, 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 blah. Yes, I do have a girlfriend. I've been with her for 11 years. I've got a seven-year-old daughter. So, yes, I've been laid quite a few times. I am not a virgin. Hope that answers your questions. Okay, moving on to questions about my life. There's no point in going through them singly as a lot of them uh, are asking basically the same thing. Where are you from? When is your birthday? How old are you? And can we meet your parents? Well, I am from a place called Birmingham, which is in the UK, United Kingdom, England. Um, bit of a ghetto area to be honest. I was raised in, I'll show you a picture of actually the house I was raised in. Uh, single mother of four boys. We were little bastards. Full on in the middle of the ghetto, uh, what can I say? Um, my birthday is July the 4th. Uh, I am 28 years old, 29 years old actually. 28, oh fuck no, 20, 1986 I was born, 29 I think. Uh, can we meet your parents? No you can't, that would be pretty hard. My dad died in a car crash when I was a kid and my mum is basically really, really ill. She needs 24 hour care, she's in the care home. She, doesn't know what day of the week is blah 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 so no you cannot meet my parents okay moving on another two questions which is basically the same thing one from Roman Skripkin I think that's how you pronounce your name and the other one's from Mr Fizzy Faz DPJ where do you think you will be doing without gaming on YouTube I get your question and the other one is do you study or actually have studied if yes what if no what are you doing besides YouTube well basically I do YouTube as a full-time job now I have studied I did graphic design for quite a number of years years um, and if I wasn't doing YouTube that's definitely something I would fall back onto without a shadow of a doubt so yeah that is what I would be doing if I wasn't doing YouTube full-time uh, at the moment YouTube's the only thing I am doing 100% okay and moving on and we have a couple of questions regarding fitness one from Swags asking do I lift and the other one from Rob Parker asking how much I bench well I do lift and I hope this answers your question and how much do I bench well basically recently I brought my rib before that I could probably do about 150 kg which isn't amazing I could probably do about three reps on that at most and that's with someone spotting me obviously um, but at the moment now I wouldn't dare try that because I recently brought my rib I've just got over it I have eight weeks off the gym so I get a little itchy every time I do chest because I'm scared my ribs is going to break out my skin so at the moment I won't go anywhere near probably about 100 kg is the most I'll do and that's pushing it to be honest but I'll get back up there I really well. Moving on to questions about Destiny now I know there's going to be a few of these but I've just picked out the, the main ones okay so we have a question from Killer Xbox Lewd 0021 if you could have any super in real life what would it be or which would it be 100% uh, it would be the Warlock South Res because you get a second chance at life it's as simple as that um, next one we have is from Leif, I think that's how you say it. your name, is it Leif? Yes, I think it is. If you would bring one exotic from year one, what would it be? Without a doubt, the Icebreaker. The Icebreaker was my all-round favourite weapon in the game. I'd absolutely love to see that in year two, I really would. Next one we have is from Alpha Jame. What subclass is your favourite? My favourite subclass is probably the Hunter Golden Gun. Um, yep, yeah, Hunter Golden Gun. Hunter's my, my, my character. Golden Gun is... It's probably, to be honest, actually, PvP, Golden Gun. PvE, I'd use Blade Dancer because the invisibility is a must for so many circumstances. It's unbelievable. Okay, next one is from Joseph Gaming 760 Do you think that Destiny 2 would be a good game? Yes, I do. If they learn from the mistakes they made on the launch of Destiny 1 and continue with the amazing content they pump into it, in my opinion, it will be an amazing game. It really will. Moving on, we have a question from Calvin McSwain. Why are you racist against Titans? Because... Actually, I ain't racist against Titans. I just think that the Hammer of Soul was stupid OP. It's sort of fixed now, um, but still, 
I actually enjoy Titans, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Uh, playing PvP with Titan is so fun, running around Chips and Burger and everybody shoulder charging. Fist of panicking people, it's actually really fun. To be honest, Warlocks are the least subclass I would use, or the, probably the last one I would pick if I had to choose from 1 to 3. Uh, be Hunter, Titan and Warlock. So I definitely ain't race it against Titans. Uh, next question is from... Matt Holland, what is your favourite gun on Destiny? This is the Icebreaker. At the moment though, it's probably the Smite Moraine. I mean, that's a really underrated weapon. I love my Smite Moraine. Uh, I love it for PvE and I love it for PvP. Uh, it isn't used by many people, but mine is a beast. It's got Firefly on it. It's got, I think it, is it got Full Auto? I can't remember. Uh, but it's a beast of a weapon anyway. That's my favourite weapon in year two. Year one, without a shadow of a is the Icebreaker. Damn right. Okay, so... Moving on, next question is from Trey Wood. What is your favourite thing about Destiny? Well, it was the element of surprise in the loot system, which was completely random. That got me so addicted to the game. And the grind as well. I love that kind of grind. So that's definitely my favourite thing about Destiny. Year 2, I think they took a lot of the grind away and made it so easy to get everything. Um, but still... I'd still say that the element of surprise in the loot you are rewarded and the randomness of it is my favourite thing about Destiny. Other than the fact, I think the actual whole franchise is amazing. Okay, next question is from, I have to zoom out on that one, Mad Monster. In your opinion, is the current drop system better than year ones? Are we going to have old raids and Galahorn back? Um, the new system, in my opinion, is not as good as year ones. I think year ones was a lot better of a system, I really do. Are we going to have old raids and Galahorn back? Um, I'm pretty sure we will have them sooner or later. I mean, at the upcoming event, I'm hoping, I'm actually hoping that it will be bringing back the old raids, the Vault of Glass, Crow's End, even maybe the Prison of Elders. Hopefully, we will get them back. I mean, the Vault Glass was amazing, it really was. Crow's End weren't that great, but still, it's better than what we've got now. Galahorn coming back? I can't answer that one. As much as I'd like to see it back, it broke year one, so... Who knows? Who knows what they'll do to it, if they do bring it back. But yeah, it probably will make a return. Okay, and that is a Destiny question done. Okay, so we're going to move on to general things. Okay, so we have... Uh, what is your favourite animal in Ark? Okay, so if you don't know what Ark is, it's a fairly recently new game for Xbox. It's been on PC for a few months now, probably about six months actually. It's called Ark Survival Evolved. It's basically a mixture between Minecraft, Pokemon and slight Call of Duty where you have to go around building your base, taming animals, fighting other tribes and shit like that. My favourite dinosaur in it is a Spinosaurus. I think it's all around... The best, get, uh, the best dinosaur in the game, I really do. And that is a question from Ellis Brand. Thanks for that. Next question is from Chappie. Who inspired you to start YouTube and what was your biggest challenge during your YouTube career? I wasn't actually inspired to start YouTube by anybody. I mean, I started at a time where I used to have fun making Black Ops 1 emblems on the game. I jumped onto YouTube, thought other people were doing it and thought I could do that so I might as well try and I did and it just exploded from there. My hardest challenge or my biggest challenge during my YouTube career is probably about a year, two years between Black Ops 2 I'd say and Destiny. Them two years I wasn't really dedicated to a single game. Uh, my channel was just all over the shop. I had Call of Duty, I had GTA, I had Watch Dogs. I had a few other games, I was playing iPad, I was recording all sorts of shit. My channel was basically dying a slow death. Um, but then Destiny come out, I took a chance with it and it sort of, it revived my channel. I'm not even going to lie to you guys, it really did. So that was definitely my biggest challenge. From two years before Destiny come out, I didn't know what I was going to do. I was just doing bullshit to be honest, I was just posting crap. Uh, but Destiny changed all of that for the good. Next question is from something with Destiny. Do you have pets? I have a pet dog um, called Oscar who is a Shih Tzu and I have a few fish. I had a massive dog who was a full black German Shepherd. You've probably seen pictures of him in previous videos. If not, I'll put one on the screen for you guys now. Um, he died September 30th last year and, and I don't want another big dog because it, it kills you. It kills you when your dog dies, trust me, it's like losing a kid. The dog I've got now is my daughter's dog. Um, he's a diddy little thing, he's only a year old. He'll have a long life, hopefully. Next question is from the viewer, play Battlefield. Everyone loves Battlefield, right? 
wrong. Uh, next question from Cade Reynolds. DPJ, what was your best childhood memory slash worst? I can't answer that. My best childhood memory, I can't answer that. My whole childhood was full of fun. It weren't really about games. We used to go out on the streets, roam on the streets, doing all sorts of crazy shit. Um, so I haven't really got a best. There's so much good times in my childhood. It's unbelievable. My worst, probably breaking my leg or breaking my arm or falling on my head when I was four years old thinking I was Superman. Thinking I could fly. I thought, if Superman can fly, why can't I? That's why I jumped off a 25 foot wall and landed straight on the top of my head and it almost killed me. And as you can see, I've got a flat head now. But um, yeah, I can't really answer the question of my best childhood memory because I've got so many good ones. Next question is from FXG Bloodhand. Which game is your favourite? Also keep up the good work. I intend to, my friend. Now my favourite game, that's hard to actually pick. My favourite multiplayer game is Watch Dogs. Of all time it's Watch Dogs. Um, other than that, I love Plants vs Zombies. I love Modern Warfare 2. I loved... Um, well, I love Destiny, I'm loving Ark. I haven't really got a favourite all-time, all-round game, but up there would be Ark, Modern Warfare 2, Destiny, Plants vs Zombies, Garden Warfare 1, and Watch Dogs. Next question from Ethan Halstead. In the next Call of Duty, what do you want to see in it? You love your videos, DPJ. Thank you. What do I want to see in the next Call of Duty? I want to see... World War One era, that's what I want to see. None of this new fucking jumping over buildings, running across the wall shit. Uh, Spencer Tally, what is your favourite food to eat breakfast, lunch and dinner? Well, breakfast I actually can't eat in the morning. I mean, I can't eat in the morning. I mean, I tried all my life, I just can't do it. So I have a protein shake, a green tea and a coffee. Uh, lunch, I probably have something to do with eggs, tuna, chicken, Protein, simple as that, and same for dinner, steak, a uh, little bit of carbs, because I only eat about 30 grams of carbs a day, so a little bit of carbs, rice, broccoli, and that's it, that's what I eat, <laughs> all day, every day. Next question is from DizzyK1D, who introduced you to video games? Probably my older brother, I remember sitting as a kid, really young, watching him play a Atari, way, way, way back, a Master System, Mega Drive, NES, SNES, all them old school computers. So it was definitely my older brother. Next question is from Ryan O'Connell. What is your first game console ever? My first games console ever was, I believe, the Nintendo 64 or the PlayStation 1. PlayStation 1 it could have been, or that could have been my brother's. That's way, way, way back. But it's definitely either PlayStation 1 or the Nintendo 64. Next question is from Jesus Hernandez. What kind of car do you drive? Actually, in my current situation, I'm actually taking my driving test come April. So I'm doing my lessons now. The car I plan to buy is called a Ford Focus RS Mark II. I'll put a picture on screen now. I absolutely love this car. Since I saw it in the year 2010, it's the one car I've always wanted. Now, I don't really need a car because I have a motorbike, but I thought I may as well, I may as well just pass my test and get a car, and that's the car I want 100%. Um, next question is from Adhi Patel. Have you ever considered streaming in the near future? Uh, I've considered streaming, but it takes up so much of your time. You can't really do a YouTube channel and stream at the same time, not in my current situation anyway. Basically, my situation is I get up early about 10 a.m. I play and record videos until about 4 p.m. And then my daughter comes back from school and then I don't really play games until she goes to bed so I can't really stream because I basically, as you can see, I'm set up in my main room because I don't really want to spend time away from my daughter and my girlfriend because if I did, I'd never see them. If I'd spent time in my own room playing my games, I would never be around my daughter and girlfriend so I basically choose to do all my recording, all my gaming in my main room where my daughter plays and my girlfriend sits and watches TV. So I can't really stream while they're doing that in the background, so it's really hard to do. So I've considered it, but I doubt I'll ever stream. Next question is from Cubing Life 101 When you fart, does it stink? No, my fart smell like mango juice. Um, next question is from Matt Wilding. What made you start drawing? Now... To be honest, I used to copy my brother. I used to see my brother sitting over pencil drawing and I started drawing, um, as simple as that. Uh, from there it took off, I went to art school. Then it sort of went on to designing on computers and doing graphic design and it just went up from there. Um, next question is from 
Oh my god, it's lagging. Uh, would you rather kill yourself or go to prison? Well, that's a silly question. Of course, I'd rather go to prison. Uh, um, simple as that. The last and final question is from Chris Willis. Do you have some tips to start a YouTube channel? Um, the only thing I could say to you is don't start a YouTube channel planning for it to pay your bills, planning to make a career out of it because it would do nothing but cause you stress. If I was you and you want to start YouTube, do it as a hobby. Play games, record them, post them. If people like your shit and like you, you will get an audience anyway. Whether it starts really slow and takes off, if people like you, you will get noticed sooner or later. If you're studying or if you're working, whatever you do, do not quit that shit to do YouTube thinking you can make easy money off it because it's not as simple as that, trust me, it really isn't. But yep guys, that is it for a Q&A. If you guys want to see another one uh, in a week's time or whatever, leave a question down below in that comment section. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I'd appreciate the support. Thanks for stopping by as always, and peace out until next time. Peace! We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Testing these gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.